we are still with him and he he's i don't know what he's up to he's all over the place oh and a big jump down the bank hello big boy what are you doing you he's like running around as though there's something that he wants and something that he's trying to hunt but i can't see what it is so i'm trying to just kind of reverse and stay with him but he keeps moving up and down the bank he's making it difficult for us to kind of predict where he wants to go there he comes now slowly but surely he's heading kind of towards where we are so there he comes look at that he's almost like he's on the prowl he is heading south so we're not going to have him for i reckon we'll have him maybe for another five minutes at the most but i don't know what he has seen and he has decided I want to hunt it and he is chasing things but we can't see what it is I don't know if there's maybe a little rodent or something that he's seeing I'm not sure at all what are you watching big boy Beverly, you're asking if the spotlights are bothering him. I don't think so. He's used to the spotlights, so um, we'll go into infrared anyway, just to make sure that we can kind of keep him without having to worry about spotlights. But here he comes now, just walking down the road. And he's going straight into Little Gauri within the next five seconds, I would say. It's really not going to be very long at all, unless he stops on this side. No, he's heading straight towards Little Gauri now. I don't know what it's been all about this afternoon. He's kind of been, he went north, then he went south, then he went east, then he went west, and now he's heading towards the main road and out of our area. I'm going to try quickly, but it's beautiful with him spotlit like that, isn't it? Roshni, you say leopards are a lot more active compared to lions. They are, and that's why I love spending time with them. The lions are amazing when they're active, but that's not that often. At least with the leopards, you know if you spend a bit of time with them, they will get active fairly soon, and you will end up with a really kind of interesting sighting at some point. But there we go. He's busy crossing into Little Gauri now. Oh, no, maybe not. Now he's scent marking, or at least going to the toilet, that is. We'll also see with the spotlights, just so that you were saying if they're worrying him, you can see we're not shining on his face, so we shine down on the ground in front of him and just kind of bounce the light up towards him and make sure that we're not in any way shining in his eyes. And so if he wasn't sure about the spotlights, he most certainly would avert his gaze from them, whereas now you can see he's really kind of not too concerned about it. So just shine in front and make sure that we don't shine into his eyes and then everything's okay. And there he goes. That's all going to be our last views of Hosanna as he disappears into Little Gauri. So he came from there today, and well, now he goes back. And he's crossing exactly the same place that he crossed this morning coming in. So back down to the south, and venturing into his territory that he had. Well, not territory, but his area that he moves around down here. He spent, seems to spend a lot of time down in the south in Little Gauri these days, and so kind of bounces between the two and you can see just how he's going to melt into the darkness as the range of the light gets too far and so while well, Hosanna slinks off into the evening and disappears into the thickets of the Sabi sands in Little Gauri we were talking about cats being active and lions not as much as the leopards but it seems Brent's lions are up and moving so let's go across to him Thank <laughs> you.